All right, so what's up? Um, basically, what I'm about to do for you is do two things. First off, teach you some of the basics of guttural type vocals. Guttural growl, I don't know what you like to call them, but we'll get there. Um, the high type vocals, maybe some mid. And a lot of what I've been doing lately, my current band Hyacinth, check them out on myspace.com slash hyacinthband1. Um, I've been doing a lot of um, low growls, the mids, and my highs, in what they call false chord. I don't know exactly how to explain false chord to you, but it's a little bit different because you're not really using your actual vocal cords. I mean, you're using your vocal cords, of course, but it's not, you can't, you really can't hear your voice in it. Like, for example, fall, not false chord, but vocal fry, you always hear a little bit of your voice in there. But another reason why I'm making this video is because, you know, on some of my covers, people said, hey, this faggot inhales. And I'm like, no, I don't. But um, where I could start for y'all would be, well, a simple death guttural growl. Um, a lot of online sounds like I try to base it off of Phil Bozeman of Whitechapel, um, Corpse Grinder of Campbell Corpse, and um, we get the idea, right? More or less, it's the low growl, the really low growl. But a lot of people say I sound a lot more like uh, Phil Bozeman, for example. But um, first off, let me show what I got. <laughs> Now you can tell it's a knot, an inhale. This is an inhale. <laughs> Quiet, weak, who the fuck wants to do that? Unless you're copping the shit out of the mic and you want to ruin your lungs. Well basically, how I learned to do that was fairly simple. But what it really was is, you know, I had a lot of vocal fry. And if you don't use vocal fry, it's a lot of just clenching in the throat. And what we want to do here is start, start slow. That's why a lot of people I recommend, if you're learning how to scream, growl, whatever you want to call it, Start out with gritty singing. I mean, you don't have to be the best singer. You can be, you can be the most out of tune singer in the world. But if you know how to control your voice going a low to high, and you can add a little bit of grit in there, you know, kind of like that. Just a little bit. You're on the right track. So I start with what I always try to tell my friends that I've always wanted to, too, such as my other all the local bands around this area. Just slowly, like, upgrade the amount of power and grit you put into your vocals. Let's say I want to say, oh, oh. You know, you spit a little, a little bit each time. Oh, 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 Just keep it going, and going, and going. And you're going to want to push a lot with the diaphragm. Push as hard as you can right here. In a sense, it almost feels like you're going to have to take a shit. Sides you won't. That's, that's the main goal you want to achieve. Just keep pushing, pushing, pushing harder as, hard as you can. But don't strain out your voice. That's where the diaphragm comes in. And, it's, and also with pushing the diaphragm, you help. Help your reserve tank, which helps you force up more. Common sense. And the next vocal style, it's also deprived from the false chord. It's very familiar, it's very similar to what Randy Black Lamb God uses. Um, let's think. Um, Black Lamb just yells at you! Not with our time right now! What makes a damn boy face on the day when he all fell still? You know, it's a very. It's the false chord, same style as the guttural size. It's a lot higher, but it's not too high. And it's the same exact thing. You just have to push it out right. Because honestly, it's really not humanly possible to explain this unless I literally could go into your throat and tell you where. But you know, the video, you're on the other side. Sorry. But, same thing. I mean, priv, priv, priv. You know, like, privilege is chosen to be from Lamb of God's Hourglass, I believe. You know, you just... So we'll to digress into it. And then for one last thing would be the high vocals, which, how I explain doing them? Ah, with grit. You know? Ah, you know, I took my guy lyrics, I made them into death chord type highs. Very Mitchell Rance, right? Like Suicide Silence. Big influence. But um, same thing, I mean literally. Take your head voice, your little you know, oh man, I just cracked, but you know, stuff like that. Just take that, put a whole bunch of grit into it, just throw it down. It's the same thing, just diaphragmic use. I mean, if you have any questions, I can try to answer them the best I can. Um, it's a lot, like I said, it's a lot of mental work, it's a lot of practice. It take, it's taken me two years to get even remotely close to where I'm at right now. And well, I mean, practice, just strain your voice, use your diaphragm, slowly progress.
But anyway, like I said, any questions, message me. And also, if you're interested in hearing what my band has, myspace.com slash hyacinthband1. We also have a YouTube account, which I believe is linked to my YouTube page, actually. And then also we have a Facebook. Just look up Hyacinth under music, and you should have it. Thanks.